Anybody there? Rose. How did you get in? I stopped by hoping you'd wish me a happy 18th birthday, Chadwick. Has it been that long? How are you? Oh, you know, in and out of orphanages for the past 10 years, haunted by the night my mother was murdered. It's been a pretty eventful childhood. I'm so sorry you had to go through all Don't that. Don't be. Things are finally looking up. I loved your mother with all my heart. It kills me that they never found the person responsible. Oh, they did. He was just never convicted. What do you want, Rose? Before I go to America, I want to make you pay. No! And it's not Rose anymore. Rose, please! Me. Enjoy the song, Barbara. Mom? Yes. Did you check your email? We have a new video message. I did. She's getting in tomorrow night. Yep. You're an exchange student? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. Nice. I'm so excited. I can't wait to be in America. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Bye. The new security software is installed, Miss Winters. Thank you, Jack. Now, am I going to be able to figure that out? Oh, it's simple. I've created an intranet to help monitor all activities here, so you should have full access to service history. Thank you. But you lost me at it simple. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm sure you can explain it more at dinner tonight, right? Dinner tonight? What are we doing? I really just want to be close to the lake. So if she wants to go to the university here, then I will too. I don't even know where I want to go yet. I'm still trying to make up for the year the doctors had me zoned out on sleeping pills. And look how far you've come. You've done great. Is there anything else you need? I promise Mom will help her out with something. No, that's perfect. Thank you. Great. See you later. Seems like yesterday, huh? We were just little freshman kids. You sure you want to do this? It's just for the school year. It's not like she's moving in for good. No, no. There's definitely no replacement for your sister. Oh, I know. Besides, this is what the change is for, right? to never forget the past, but continue to move on, right? Right. Speaking of moving on, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about going on a date. With Scott from the cafe. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, how, how do you know his name? <laughs> we all do, Mom. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that he's way into you. Really? Yeah. I wasn't sure you were going to feel about it. Mom, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Spitting image. Thank you. Sure, Sam. Once you get settled in, I'd be happy to write up a little article. A foreign exchange student expose. Expose? That sounds very exciting. It's nice of you, Ruth. Thank you. 
I usually prefer tea, but I hear you make the best cappuccino in town. Oh, my. Chloe! Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I was so anxious to get here. I got on an earlier flight. I didn't want to inconvenience you, so I got a cab from the airport. Uh, uh, Blake, come out here. It is so wonderful to have you here. <laughs> Chloe? Surprise! Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were coming early. Hi. Hi. And you must be the one and only Jack. <sighs> that I am. I'm so glad to finally meet you. Lisa, come here. This is Chloe. <gasps> I've heard so much about you. Oh, only good, I hope. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. Oh, hi. Whoa. Well, so many people. <laughs> I'm Ruth Hill. I'm a reporter and I cover the social news for the Herald. And I was just telling Samantha here, I would love to do a cover story on you. You know, get your take on our lovely town. Yeah, I'm uh, sure that would be my pleasure. Oh, wonderful. Well, what are you guys standing around here for? I got this covered. You guys go. OK, you ready to see your new home? Yes, yes, I'd love to. Okay. Go. go. Thank you. You're welcome. OK. <laughs> This is lovely, Miss Winters. Thanks. You just call me Samantha. Um, your room is right up there. OK. <laughs> Here. Wow. I don't know what to say. Well, I just want you to be comfortable. It's a big change for all of us, and we want it to be special. Mm-hmm. Um, does this look comfortable? Do you want more pillows? I think there's enough pillows. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go get you a cup of tea then. Of course. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. I'm just gonna let you get settled in and... By the way, Blake told me about the accident. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I lost someone too. She was my best friend. I didn't know. It doesn't matter. Being here gives me hope. You know, I feel like everything's about to change for the better. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Girls, breakfast is ready, and I got to get to the cafe. Bye. Come in. Hey, um, Mom left breakfast for us. Do you want some? Blimey, have you got a second? <laughs> I just... You've got this. Okay. Is that Blake Winters? New look, I guess. I had no idea she's that hot. Blake! <laughs> Where have you been all summer? Um... Hey, 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 Blake, <laughs> where's your new friend? Oh, this is Chloe. She came to visit us from Canterbury, England. Look who's here. 8 a.m. Right on cue. What are you waiting for? No time like the present? Tall, dark, and handsome is requesting your service. Go get it. OK. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'll uh, take a coffee with Two shots of espresso and a splash of almond milk. Yes. Anything else? No, no, that'll be it. You sure? Well, I, um, would, would you, you like to... <laughs> I'm sorry. You were saying? No, please, you go first. No, 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 I insist. Oh, well, I was thinking that, uh, maybe you and I could go out on a date sometime. That's next week. Yes, yes. To date. Hi. Hi, Scott. <laughs> and these? These are crisps. <laughs> so what do you call this? Fizzy drink. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, it's just, you look different. I mean, you always look beautiful, but this is just, wow. I didn't know how you would feel about it. OK, so I'm totally going to wear a dress like that tomorrow. Cool? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> totally cool. cool. Hey, I have to see you girl for a second. I have to sign up for cheerleading trials. Come on. Cheerleading trials? 
Yeah, we'll talk about it later. It's just that I haven't done cheer since I was a freshman. Well, new look, new you. Yeah. Don't worry about him, he'll get over it, trust me. Hey, Blake. Oh, <laughs> wow. You look stunning. I, I love your makeup. Thank you. Uh, Blake just hopped into the shower. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, having a little trouble finding something to wear. <laughs> Wait there. I brought you this from home. I've been meaning to give it to you. Please, open it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's the least I could do considering what you're doing for me. Try it on. <laughs> okay. I won't look. <laughs> So, you're going on a date, huh? Yeah. Honestly, I didn't think I'd ever date again. You know, the idea of being with a man other than Blake's father just felt wrong. You could imagine. But I know John would want me to be happy. What makes this guy the lucky one? I don't know. He's, um, he's sweet. He's genuine. He's honest. How do I look? What do you think? You look so pretty. <laughs> you look so pretty. I opened up the cafe and threw myself into it wholeheartedly. Well, I'm impressed. And you made quite a business for yourself. Thanks. Did I tell you, you serve the best espresso I've ever had. Um, hmm, yeah, your customer loyalty has definitely contributed to its success. I'm not the only one. You got a nice group of regulars. I do, don't I? Well, except for this one thing, my lease is being yanked. What do you mean? Well, the owner of Middle Bar recently passed, and the family sold the property to a developer who was in the lease early, so I have to be out by the end of the year. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't even know if I could do it all over again. I mean, getting the cafe up and running it was a huge amount of work. You know, it may not be legal for them to end your lease like this. Well, it's a big corporation and I can't afford to fight it. They're giving me a small relocation fee, which is helpful. It's all I can do. I did tell you I'm a lawyer, right? You did. When I got divorced, I, um... I mean, for years, I was counsel for one of those big corporations. I found myself usually rooting for the little guy who I was often hurting, so I quit. Now I, I focus on helping smaller businesses like your cafe grow, succeed. It's what I do. Well, that's very admirable. But I couldn't afford you. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd be more than willing to help. Well, enough about business, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really glad you finally asked. Yeah, I am too. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.
Who is it? Oh, it's my mom. Everything okay? She's wishing us luck. Oh, that's nice. We practiced so many times, we will be fine. No, I know, I just I'm nervous. Lake? I'm up. Don't forget to smile. <sighs> Hi. My name is Blake Winters, and thank you so much for letting me out. Ready? Okay. S P I R I T Spirit. Hey, let us hear it. Gonna high gear it. We've got. Thank you. So, have you decided about Scott's legal services? I'm still thinking about it. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy our time together. Oh, are you um, enjoying anything else? Let's pick two dates. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I made the team! Oh, yes, yes, I did, and I couldn't have done it without Chloe. She really made me believe in myself. Well, I only helped you find what was already there. OK, mm -hmm. this calls for a little chocolate cake celebration. Well, I will get it. I'll get the plane. Do you need some help? I'm quite good with computers. It's this new software, but Jack is here. Jack? Hey, Jack, the computer's, you know. Yeah, here. I forgot to restart it after loading in a new software. I'll take care of it. I guess it's time for me to figure out how to do this on my own. <laughs> hey. Uh, can I talk to you in private? What's that? That is our last family vacation together. And where is that? Um, we have this little cabin by Lake Kenzer, and the girls used to play in the lake hours on end. It's Lake's favorite place. Hmm. What's? Well, sorry, do you mind? I just, you guys all look so happy. A real family. Yeah, I keep it there to remind me to be grateful for what I had. And what I still have. I'm grateful for you. <laughs> Come here. Thank you. And thank you for making Blake smile again. Her happiness means everything to me. So what's up? Look, I I know you've made some new friends and that's great. I'm I'm happy for you. I, I really am. It's it's just uh, I feel like you've been acting differently towards me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be acting differently. I just Jack, I'm trying to balance things. Am I getting in the way of that? No, no, no. It's just. Jack, we don't even know where we're going to be next year. What do you mean? We're going to be in college together. You know what? Let's not talk about that right now. We were thinking about having a party this weekend. Sounds fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys have a good night, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Becky, hi. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, in the morning. So, how are things going with you and Jack? Um, now things have been a bit challenging lately. Um, it's okay. Although Chloe's convinced that I should see other people. Hmm. And what do you think? I don't know. I mean, you and Dad met in high school, right? Didn't you go to different colleges? How did you two decide to stay together? We did. He was on the other side of the country, actually, but it was that separation that made us realize we were meant to be together. Oh, maybe that's what Jack and I need. Maybe. 
You know, just remember, it's your decision, okay? It's not Chloe's. And even Jack are young. I'm just gonna go to the loo, one second. Aren't you gonna get in the pool? It's a pool party after all. Ah, uh, no thanks. Come on, it'll be fun. I, 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 I don't swim. What? I can't swim, Chloe. Really? Not even a smidge? No. No smidge. I know. Not cool. You don't seem to like me very much, do you? It's not that I don't like you. It's just... Blake and I were great, but... things have been different lately. I'm sure things were great. But was she really living up to her full potential? Is that what you've been telling her? <laughs> Jack, you have to consider the possibility that you're holding her back. Really? She fell for you at the most vulnerable time in her life. Whoa. Sort of taking the low road, aren't you, Chloe? This is obviously the real Blake, and you can't handle that she's out of your league now. I can't believe I actually supported them bringing you here. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Look around. You seem to be the only one who doesn't notice it. Get away from me. If you really loved her, you'd want what's best for her. Jack! Oh my god. He can't swim. Is he okay? We thought he was faking it. We had no idea he couldn't swim this way. Just breathe. You're gonna be okay. Are you okay? You pushed me. Well, I bumped you. It was an accident. Right after I told you I couldn't swim? What are you talking about? Don't play games with me. Can we just calm down? Oh, Jack, you don't think she actually tried to harm you, right? I'm telling the truth. Believe who you want. Stop it, Jack! Forget it, Blake. You know what? Ever since Chloe got here, you've made me feel guilty for having a friend. Lots of friends. I'm sorry, but you've been acting differently. Can we just talk about this away from crap? No, no, you're right. Forget it, Jack. Please. Let's just go somewhere private. There's nothing to talk about. Good job, Chloe. Is this what you wanted? You happy? You have all these people fooled, but not me. Don't worry. Find anything good? This isn't over, Chloe. You can't hide your true colors forever. That's why you're wrong. I'm just getting warmed up. This is very sweet of you. And no cooking. <laughs> I love it. Huh? I told you. I have a surprise for you. What's this? Good news. Your lease does not give them the right to kick you out. So I've written up a TRO. A temporary restraining order, which will hold us over until we file a lawsuit to enforce the continuation of your lease here. <laughs> so I think I could get you a five-year extension, unless you wanted to continue the business in a new space, in which case I'm in contact with plenty of real estate investors that I know would be interested. Wow, oh, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm throwing some ideas out there. I mean, if you don't like any of them. Oh, no, no, I, I, I love them. 
still thinking about today. Uh, uh, I might sound crazy, but there was this moment by the pool where I actually thought Chloe was happy about what happened between Blake and Jack. Maybe she was. You don't know who Chloe really is, right? No, but from what you've told me, ever since she's arrived, Blake's been happier, you've been happier. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Guess who just texted me? Who? Shane. Him and his fit mate Travis are up for doing something tonight. Oh, no, I'm not up for that tonight, Chloe. Oh, pish posh. You're missing out on a perfect opportunity. Your mum is out with Scott. We should have them over. I told you I'm not feeling it tonight. I'm going to take your mind off your heartbreak, OK? I'm not taking no for an answer. Go get ready. I'll take care of the rest. years ago. Who are you, Chloe Miller? Shane was on the map. Yeah. And he was ready to throw a curveball at me. Right. And, and, and before this, he had told me that he was going to hit me with the ball. And so I, I thought, why would you do that? Shane, what? That's what? not a very what? nice thing to do. <laughs> and so I thought he was messing with me. And right. I was like, Take time for a refill. <laughs> And all of a sudden, mm. it just comes shooting at me and just smacks me right in the back. <gasps> just... No, you're kidding. <laughs> I swear you'll love it. You just have to watch the show. OK. You have to. OK, we will. Another cranberry juice, because you're not drinking the good stuff. Uh, Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thanks for coming. Scott, I really can't thank you enough for your help. I think you can. I don't think this is appropriate behavior with my lawyer. Oh, well, then I guess it's a good thing I'm officially off the clock. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, you reached Samantha. Leave me a message or time at the cafe. Ah! Uh, come in. Hey, you still up? Yeah. You okay? Uh, I, I gotta go. I'll explain it all later. Explain what? Where are you going? Chloe's a fraud. Sorry, Jens, I don't know what's got into her. 
I'm actually feeling a little woozy myself. Bummer. Hope Blake feels better. Can I have a rain check? No doubt. I'm so sleepy. Mm -hmm. Time for Betty. Bye bye. Um, okay. <gasps> Blake. Blake. Oh, Jack. Ah! Ah! This time, ah! I'm not messing around. I just can't believe Jack would do this. Well, suicide sometimes leaves us with more questions than answers. I'm really sorry for your loss. I'll be in touch. All right. <laughs> That's okay, baby. It's okay. Come on, I know this is hard. Wait. We need to talk about this, okay? Don't think she's ready to talk. Samantha again. Could you please call me? I love Jack like he was our own, and I'm really sorry.
peace and spirit. But we should let them rest. Hey, I just made some brekkie if you want some. Um, just didn't think you'd be going to school today. Weren't you the one who said we should be grateful for what we still have? Yeah, I, I just said, understand if you weren't feeling up to it. Not really. I'm just going for Blake. I'm gonna get all her assignments from her teachers so she doesn't fall too far behind. Wow. I really appreciate that. Someone's got to keep our grades up. Bye. How's Blake doing? I'm not too good. She really loved him. We all did. Will you please give this to her from us? Uh, 5,000 paper cups should be perfect. Thank you, Lisa. Don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you. Sure. Can I get you something to eat? I'm okay. I'm gonna take the day off of work tomorrow for the memorial, so I'm gonna be around if you need anything. Thanks, Mom. Blake, from all your friends at school. You did this for me? Oh, it was nothing, just something I picked up on the way so your friends could sign it. So you know that everyone is thinking about you. That is very thoughtful. What a bestie's for, hmm? Thank you. Hey, Lisa, did you forget something? I do have the only key. Nope, it's not a problem. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. You stay with Blake. No, I, I'll do it. I'm, I'm happy to. All right. Here, this should work. I made an extra copy, so you keep that one. Thanks. She's got a key to the car, key to the cabin, everything but the cafe. Well, now they're all in one happy place. Yep. Hi, dear. I was still hoping that we could sit down and do that cover story. You know, with Jack's death and everything, I just, I don't think it's the right time. Oh, I understand. Mm. Of course. Sounds like things aren't going so good back home either. Excuse me? Well, I wanted to be prepared for our interview, so I did a little research on Canterbury. Th that's where you're from, right? Yes. So I guess you heard about the vicious murder. Some man named Chadwick Stone. Did you know him? No, no, I, I did not. I actually, I actually do have a bit of time right now for the interview, if you're available. Wonderful. I'll be right over there at my usual table. Actually, um, I have to do some studying at the library, so do you mind if we do it there? It'll be a lot quieter anyway. Of course. I'll just get my tape recorder ready. Great, I'll meet you there. Yeah, a little later. Okay. Ruth! Oh! <laughs> oh mm -hmm. Hello, Chloe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, have you been enjoying your stay here? Yes, everyone's been very nice. So, what exactly do you know about the murder back home? Who did it? Oh, well, they're not sure, but uh, they did find the murder weapon. A mallet. He was bludgeoned to death. Really? How nasty. Well, I'll, I'll let you know if they figure out who did it. This is quite unfortunate, Ruth. What do you mean? You really are very nosy. I'm sorry. How about we put an end to this right now? Ah! 
my plan was going perfectly. I'm not going to let some old hag ruin it. In an ironic turn of events, Ruth Hill, the woman known for giving us our witty headlines, is unfortunately the tragic headline here at the library today. Ms. Hill contributed to the community for over 27 years, serving as a journalist for the local Herald News. Oh my. Law I just not saw her at the cafe. Information at this time about the Pretty incident. awful. Do they know what happened? Ms. Hill's family has guess she just fell. The mayor and they the said there were no witnesses. And a public memorial will be held this Saturday at 2 p.m. It's a tragedy. News, officials find evidence I guess we'll just have to get through this at US Open. together. Hmm? Health officials said evidence yeah. of E. coli bacteria was found at a hydration station at the Air and Hills Golf Course. What are you doing here? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Jack was my friend. <sighs> Is that how you treat your friends? I'm sorry? Do you have any idea how humiliated he was when you threw him into that pool? I'm sorry, that was, a, that was an honest mistake. A mistake? I mean, it's not my fault he can't swim. Get out! What's going on? You brought this poison into our lives. I don't want her here. Please leave. It's fine. Get out of my house! Whoa, 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 whoa. Miss Bayless, please, get a hold of yourself. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay, everyone needs to just calm down for a second. In fact, now would be a good time for everyone to come down What's to the What's going station. on? There's been a new development that we need to discuss. Let's go. My boy didn't just kill himself. Does that make you feel any better? Yes, thanks. <clears throat> Jack's mom has some issues she needs to address. She's a grieving mother mourning over the death of her son, so I think we can understand. Did you have any communication, Miss Miller, with Jack the night of his death? No. I made a special effort not to communicate with Jack after. After what? Didn't tell you. Well, Jack sort of fancied me, and I could tell Blake was jealous. She's my bestie, and besties are supposed to protect each other, so I kept my distance. Mm -hmm. What do you think that Jack meant when he texted Chloe this? Chloe is not who she says she is. I'm coming over. Oh, wow, you tried that angle. I'm not surprised. Can you expound on that? Once I gave Jack the cold shoulder, he was miffed. He even tried to drive a wedge between me and Blake, saying that I was the reason that Blake started to believe that she was out of his league. And a text, Miss Miller. Well, obviously, Jack moved on to his next obsession, proving to Blake that I was untrustworthy. He insisted they meet up that night, and Blake was having too much fun. She didn't want Jack to ruin her night. So she texted him to meet up later. Blake texted. Well, yeah. But, I mean, I didn't think she was going to last another 10 minutes. Why is that? She had a bit too much to drink, Detective. I think the break sort of stressed her a lot. Truth is, I was scared for her. And how was that? Jack had completely lost the plot. Gone insane. He, I mean, he, he blatantly accused me of trying to drown him. It's a pretty serious accusation. Yes, yes, which is why I had good reason to be concerned. I mean, if someone's going to top themselves, they've already got a screw loose, right? You said in your initial statement that you weren't home at the time of Jack's death. Where were you? 
Miss Miller? Please, don't tell Samantha. Oh, I won't tell Samantha. Where were you? Well, Blake had called at an early night, but I didn't want to. So I met back up with Shane. You can ask him. So you didn't have any communication with Jack the night of his death? No. Next time I saw him was in the morning. A sight I would not like to relive. Thank you for coming in. That'll be all for now. Ladies, that's a transcript of Jack's phone records on the night of his supposed suicide. Supposed? We had to wait for the phone company to release his official records because his phone was damaged in the pool. Please take a look. Miss Winters, you failed to mention in your initial statement that you planned on meeting Jack moments before his death. What? No, 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 I didn't send that. These text exchanges were pulled from his phone records. That is your number, is it not? Well, yeah, but wait. No, that's not necessary. All the text messages are here, delete it or not. As I was saying, this suggests that you were the last person to see Jack alive. Not to mention, he was found dead in your pool. <laughs> Did you see him? No. No, I told you I was asleep, Mom. I wasn't feeling good. I told you. I wasn't feeling good. You said in your initial statement that you had people over that night. If you didn't send these texts, can you think of anyone else who might have had access to your phone? I didn't give the phone to anyone. I didn't let anybody use it. This is my card. I want you to call me if you can think of anything else. But we'll definitely stay in touch. Ladies. So I can count on you with the police, right? Yeah. How are you holding up? I just didn't realize he felt so alone. It's not your fault. Was Jack right? Was I just caught up with myself and Chloe? No. Mm -mm. Although I'm not sure things are working out with Chloe as planned. None of this was her fault though, right? All I know is my main concern is your happiness. So if it means Chloe's gotta go, so be it. Just sleep on it, okay? Okay, no stress. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Sure. Love you, sweetie. I love you, too. Hey, where were you? Oh, I, I just went on a little walk to clean my mind. Oh, right.
Dearest Samantha, I hope this finds you well. I know through Chloe's emails, she's never been happier. Actually, Chloe is the first in our family to make it to America, so this is very exciting for all of us. Additionally, tomorrow is our daughter's 18th birthday. Knowing our Chloe, she probably didn't tell you. I know it would mean the world to her if she celebrated. Thank you, Rosemary and Martin Miller. I'm taking Rose, and I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Stupid witch. Rose, none of this. Or I'll be back for you. Do you hear me? Do you? Morning. Happy birthday, Chloe. What? I got an email from your parents last night. I had no idea. I didn't want to mention anything with everything that's been going on. Do they miss me? Of course they miss you. Yeah, but did they say anything? Well, see, that's exactly what I thought. I don't really have the same relationship with my parents as you and Blake have. Let's just say this exchange program was their idea. Perfect way to get rid of me for the year. Oh, it's a great experience. Oh, oh no, I have no complaints. Trust me, you're saving me. Morning, Mom. Are you going to school? Yeah. Chloe woke me up this morning, made me breakfast. We had a really nice talk. I'm feeling a lot better. That's great to hear, honey. And Chloe, you have got to stop doing my homework for me. I am just trying to help. That was very nice of you. Especially on your own birthday. What? Yeah, it's my big day. No, why didn't you say Happy anything? Birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, we've got to go celebrate. No, no, that's... No. Oh, come on. It's your birthday. Don't be silly. Just being here makes it the best birthday ever. Can we throw her a party, Mom? Of course. Oh, all right then. <laughs> um, I thought about what you said, and I want her to stay. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what did you wish for? I can't tell you that. It won't come true. Come on, of course it will. Uh, we want to know. <laughs> OK. So, <clears throat> I spent so long without love that, honestly, I forgot what it felt like. But being here has created a spark, light inside of me, and I feel it growing. This light is hope, hope to feel happiness, hope to feel love. So my wish, to be here with you forever. With all of you. I can't believe Shane got me a gift. I mean, I can. He's a sweet guy. Ugh. What? <laughs> what? I think it's sweet. Yes, if you like that type. Yeah, what type is that? Perfect? Exactly. Don't you think he's being a little too perfect? He's been nothing but nice to us. Not every guy is the bad guy, Chloe. Well, look what happened with Jack. Your heart is broken over that. I'm sorry. I... It's just that the more Samantha buys into his act, the closer she gets with Scott, and the less time there is for you. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. So I will just messenger over the TRO first thing in the morning. You're a lifesaver. It's been great doing business with you. 
So we call this business. And Excuse me, that burns. Sorry, I need you back to lock the freezer. Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. You will. I just wanted to say thank you for making my special day perfect. Uh, yeah, of course. And thank you so much for being there for Samantha and Blake. Oh, yeah, well, you know, both pretty special ladies. I know. Good night, Chloe. Happy birthday. Oh, Scott, do you mind if we get a photo? A uh, photo? I just want to remember everything about this special day. Uh, yeah, sure. Great. Oh, shoot, I don't have my phone on me. Oh, OK. Well, can we use yours? It's your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, I think we should go over there. Yep. You ready? Uh, yeah. And... Great. I'm just going to send it to myself. One second. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, Good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey. Oh, hey, Sam. Listen, the property management firm came by. I miss them? Yep. That's from their legal. They're completely backing down. What? We're getting the full term of the lease back if we want it. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh. Okay, let's look. Let's look. I'll show you. Ready? Okay. Here. Celebrating with Scott. Uh, actually, he's still working, so we're meeting at his place later to officially seal the deal. Oh, Mom, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I cold dibs on the shower. So, you and Scott seem to be quite serious. Well, well, things are going pretty well. I mean, he's certainly being fantastic. I know. That's why it's really difficult for me to tell you this. Tell me what? Oh, I don't know if I can say it. <sighs> you okay? What? Scott has been pursuing me, making advances. I think that's a mistake, No, I? no. No, he was very clear and very explicit. At first, it was just words, and... Then he made me take a photo. So humiliated. A photo? There's something else. Last night, I was finally brave enough to tell him to stop. I told him I wanted to tell you the truth, and he begged me not to. He said the only way that he would stop was if I gave him my... Please, don't be mad at me. He said he would stop if he... if you gave him your what? Oh, I'm so ashamed. I did it because I love you. What happened last night? Oh, 
was kind of expecting congratulations again the lease back, but... What happened last night? And calm down. Let's come inside. What's going on? What is this? Chloe showed me the photo. Photo? From last night? Let me see your phone. Okay, yeah, sure. It's just I, uh, you know, I, uh, I thought it was a little weird, but she, uh, she insisted. Look, Sam, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I, I had no idea that you would get so upset about this. Did she also insist that you take this? I've never seen that before. How did it get on your phone? I don't know. Chloe told me everything. Everything? What do you, I... Sam, what are you doing? Uh, this is the coat you wore last night, right? Yeah. I wanted so badly not to believe her. Samantha, I have no idea how those got there. To think I'd let you near my child. Just wait a second. Sam, just wait. Stay away from me. Sam, please. Sam. Hello? Miss Winters, Detective Hardy here. Yes? I need you to bring Blake back down to the station tomorrow. Again? What's going on? I'm not at liberty to say I know. But I'm her mother. Jack's toxicology report just came in. He had levels of trichloromethane found in his body. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, it means it's highly unlikely that he committed suicide. We are now investigating this as a homicide. Oh my god. And you, you want to speak with Blake? We do. That's... No, no. She did not do what you're insinuating. Miss Winters, bring your daughter into the station tomorrow after school. Thank you. Ah. Oh, sorry. I've just grabbed my hairbrush and be out of your way. Chloe? Hmm? I'm missing my old bottle of sleeping pills. Did you take them? No. I'm out like a light before my head hits the pillow. Okay, because... The night Jack died, I think I might have been drugged. Drugged? You're beginning to sound as crazy as Jack. Stop it, Chloe. I'm not crazy. I mean, what if those boys slipped me something? Well, maybe if you didn't fall asleep, they really could have slipped you something. This isn't funny, OK? The police think that I murdered Jack. Murdered? Yes, and they want me to come in tomorrow for more questioning. You? Yes, because I am the only one without an alibi. And I can't remember the details of that night. I mean, I wouldn't worry. Jack had an enemy or two, you know, he wasn't exactly the easiest guy to get along with. I don't want you here anymore. What? I thought I was your best friend. I don't know what you are. We should go talk to my mom. And tell her what? That it's best for you to go home. No. Blake, you can't do that. You, you're tired. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I do. Let's just sleep on it. And maybe you'll feel differently in the morning. No, Chloe, let's go. No, it's not how this works. Let go of me. You're hurting me. Sorry. Sorry. I, you have no idea how much it means to me to be here with you and your mom. I can't go back there. I can't. I can't. Please. Please give me another chance. Please. OK. You should go get some rest. Good night, Chloe. Mom, are you awake? Yeah, honey, what's... Mom. What's going on? 
Something's not right with her. Are you talking about Chloe? What happened? Mom, I think Chloe is really unstable. What do you mean? I don't know. My sleeping pills are missing and I feel like I was drugged. No one comes between me and my mom. I have to end Chloe's stay early. Why don't you please return her to England or find a home? Morning. Morning, honey. Is this what we talked about? Yep. First thing in the morning, just like I promised. Do you still feel the same way? Yeah. Okay. We should tell her first. late today. Big calculus test, right, Blake? Come on, we've got to go. Come. Mom? Okay, you know what? Go. We'll, we'll tell her later. Okay. Right. okay. I'm sending this right now, though. Okay. Okay. Have a good day, okay? <sighs> Thanks, you too. me forgot my laptop. Blake told me what you two spoke about last night. Don't worry, we're back on track. And better than ever. Good. Samantha? did Jack know about Chloe? Besides the fact that she tried to drown him? I'm really sorry. I can't imagine what you must be going through. I stopped him that night before he went to see Blake. <laughs> he said Chloe was a fraud. He was Adam. My son. It was an honest kid. I know. What did he find out? Oh, that's what I'd like to know. I tried to get the police to help. But with Chloe having an alibi with that Shane kid, they wouldn't investigate. And now the detectives suspect Blake because she doesn't have an alibi. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just trying to find answers. You know, answers to all these unexplainable events. I think you're finally starting to see what I've known in my heart all along. That the one common denominator in all of this is Chloe. Yeah. That little liar is behind all of this. What if her alibi is just another lie? Miss Winters, everything okay? No, it's not okay. The police want to question Blake about Jack's murder. Murder? That's intense. It is intense. You know what else is intense? Lying to the police. It's a felony. 
Look, I'm, I'm late for chemistry. And if you are charged with a felony, Shane, you will lose that baseball scholarship next year to state. Look, I know you told the police that you were at my house the night of Jack's death. And I also know that you left well before he died. Exactly. And then you met up with Chloe and Blake later, right? Yep, that's right. You met up with both of them? Wait, what? no, no, I met up with Chloe. But not later? No. Are you sure? Yes. Wait, what? We need to think about what you're doing. Look, look, I'm sorry. I just that girl has a way of making you do things. Chloe. Yes. Yes, I had no idea that it would get so crazy. Please, I can't lose my scholarship. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd like to pick up my daughter, Blake Winters, please. Well, looks like Blake has been absent from all three classes. That's impossible. Can you try Chloe Miller? She hasn't shown up either. Why isn't this working? So we're lifelong friends are made, Abigail speaking. Hi, uh, I'm a bit confused. The uh, number that I've been dialing for months is disconnected. Is this the foreign exchange student agency? Yes, it is. How can I help you? Uh, I'm a host, Samantha Winters. All right, um, well, while I look up your profile, Miss Winters, how's the program been treating you so far? Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um... Not Samantha Winters, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, are you still looking to host? No, 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 I already told you, I am a host. The student's name is Chloe Miller from Canterbury, England. Okay, well, maybe there's a mistake. I'll look up Chloe Miller. Please. I'm sorry, but there's no Chloe Miller in our system. That's impossible. She's been living with us for months. Can you please check again? My calls were always directed to the same person, Savannah. She handled the exchange. Do you have her employee identification number? No. She was, um, she was a nice, bubbly woman. She, she had a southern accent. Look, we spoke several times before Chloe arrived. Now, did you confirm your information with Savannah at your home during the screening process? No, no, because she, she never, she never visited my home. Well, that's impossible. It's mandatory for final approval. It sounds like she isn't who she says she is. Hello? Hello? Hi, you've reached Scott Covington message. Scott, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Can you call me, please? I need to talk to you. She took my daughter. Took her? Against her will? Yes. Mrs. Winters, you don't know that. I, I have to be honest with you. This doesn't look good. Considering the fact that your daughter was supposed to go into the station today to speak with us? I just talked to the foreign exchange student agency, and there was no record of our exchange. All right, we'll check on that. And Shane Krause just admitted to me that he wasn't with Chloe that night. That means Chloe doesn't have an alibi. Well, you've been busy today. Yeah, it's your turn. I know that you have a natural instinct to protect your daughter. From a pathological liar. But it's my job to focus on the facts. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? Is it possible that Chloe set this whole thing up to make it look like my daughter did this? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. But first, we have to get Shane into the station to confirm your claims before I do that. No, there is no time for that. Miss Winters, 
This is my daughter, and I'm gonna find her with or without your help. We made it to your favorite place. Hey, Lisa, what's happening? Someone broke into the safe and there's $500 missing. OK, I'm on my way. It's the other line. Oh, okay. I'll see you soon. OK, bye. Scott? Hey. I'm sorry for the things I said. I'm sorry for not believing you. I changed. I can explain everything. Can you meet me at the cafe? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be right over. Scott. Thank you. Did you reset the security system? No, I was waiting for you. I'm so sorry I didn't catch it sooner, Sam, but I didn't even know the safe was open until I went to make the deposit. Yep. She broke in this morning. She got the passcode somehow. Who? Oh my God, what? The real Chloe Miller is dead. What? Uh, Sam, the, the handgun and the spare keys are also taken from the safe. Okay, which spare keys? Uh, a house key, a car key, and the key to the cabin. A cabin? What is going on? I think I know where they are. Or who, who is? Now you just wait right there while Savannah gets this all worked out. Party here. Detective, did you get the email from Lisa at the cafe? Yes, we're dealing with Scotland Yard as we speak. Yeah, Blake Winters is innocent and she's in imminent danger. I know. After dredging the backyard pond, they found a mallet used in the murder of Chadwick Stone. The prints belonged to a Rose Cooney AKA Chloe Miller. Listen, this is a police matter now. I want you to sit still. We're on our way. Hey there. Well, howdy. I manage most of the cabins around here. Mm. Can I help you? I'm Savannah, niece of Samantha, cousin of Blake. Oh, well, that's nice to meet you. Mm. I miss the family. I haven't seen them since the tragedy, you know. Place just sits. Yeah. Well, they gave me a key, but we didn't get a chance to notify you. Uh -huh. I was just going to clean up a little bit. Well, well that's sweet. Huh? I was also going to relax, do some fishing by the lake. Uh -huh. Is it busy around here right now? No, not now. You'll have the whole area to yourself. Oh. Well, thanks, Sugar. That sounds wonderful. Uh -huh. Now, you need some help? Excuse me? With your luggage. Oh, no, 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 no. I got that all sorted. Well, all right, then. Pleasure to meet you, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you need anything, I'll be in the blue cab in your pass just down the road. Well, I'll come find you later. All right. Blake? Blake! I'm not turning around. I have to get to Blake. Yeah, listen to me. I just got off the phone with the detectives, and they've identified who Chloe really is. The detectives? Who is she? Her name is Rose Cooney, and she killed her mother's boyfriend. Blake! Come 
on, Blake. What did you do to me, Chloe? I didn't do anything. This is all part of your brilliant, brilliant plan. Where are we? Your family cabin. Where your happiest memories were made. And where you're planning your tragic ending. What are you talking about? Soon there'll be a new family photo. With just me and Mum. The way it should be. <laughs> are you looking for this? Timing is spot on. Mum, I blame myself for Jack's suicide. I'm sorry I can't go on living like this. Blake, is there anything else you want to add? Didn't think so, it's just perfect. Oh. 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 No! No! <laughs> Mom, I gotta leave myself for Jackson. I gotta kick Blake! Just a moment's time. Both our dreams will come true. You'll be with Jack, and I'll finally have a mum. <laughs> How great is that? Please don't. Please don't do this. Only the best for my bestie. You're insane. No. Ending it at the family cabin is what's insane. Suicide is never the answer, Blake. Stop it. Oh, Samantha. How did you find us? It's all over, Rose. I know everything. Okay, we all do, including the police who are on their way right now. I know you killed your mother's boyfriend. Boyfriend? I find that affectation quite ironic, seeing him as he was anything but. Do you know what the hardest part about being in an orphanage is? Hmm? I don't. It's not the fact that you don't have a real family or a real home. It's the fact that every day you're there, you're reminded that it's simply because you're not wanted. But unlike all those other rejects in there, I was wanted. My mother did want me. She did love me. And he took her from me. And then you, you killed him. Yes. I waited 10 years. He deserved it. And what about Jack? You think he deserved it, Chloe? Oh, Jack. Jack and his nosy ways were stopping me from getting to mum. Get away from her. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious you and I can only be together if she's not in the picture? I did this for you. For us. I know you. I can't imagine what you must be going through. When I saw your profile page, I knew I had a second chance. No, I'm not your mother. I never can be. Yes, 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 you can! No, you just... You need some help. And I will be there. Listen to me. I will be there for you every step of the way. Please, please, we just need to get out of here. Please, together. All three of us. Yes. Don't you that would work? You can't be us if she's in the picture. You will always love her more. No! 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 no. <laughs> Don't make me do this. You're gonna shoot your mother, Rose. Huh? And 
Blake Winters. Congratulations, graduates. Hey. <laughs> you are gonna be a college girl. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. There is one other thing, and I did make sure to get Blake's blessing. What are you talking about? <sighs> Samantha, what do you say? Would you consider spending the rest of your life with me? Scott, <laughs> Blake, I never believed I could be this happy. Believe it, Mom, because you deserve it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm still down here. Can a guy oh. get an answer? <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Thank you for accepting the request to be my new therapist. It's our job to do everything we can to help you get better. Just have one other silly request. Hmm. Do you mind if I call you mum? <laughs> <laughs>